Yo, Elliot. This is a like-minded group of men who are working together uh, to grow stronger in this degenerate age. Not an easy thing to do because it seems in many ways that the world is against us. The world is against men. The world is against strong men, not against effeminate men. They're praised. Hollywood loves weak men. TV commercials, they love weak men, right? Cartoons, pop culture. Pop culture loves effeminate, weak men because they're, they're easily manipulated. I remember hearing about this when I watched uh, an interview with Dave Chappelle many, many years ago, maybe like 10 years ago. I don't know, something happened to Dave Chappelle recently. He's not the same. Um, and I'm not knocking him in his journey. And there's some conspiracy theories about, you know, why he's a little different. Um, but I remember when back when he was super based back in the day, he did an interview and he was talking about how uh, in particular black men, he was talking about black men in particular <clears throat> in Hollywood, they always want to put him in a dress. <laughs> and and you, if you look, if you look, you'll notice this, right? Like all like he was he was referring to like Martin Lawrence, right? And Martin would dress up like a woman all the time. Uh, I'm sure I, I'm, I know the uh, who those twins, the Wayne's brothers. They did that movie. They were dressed. They were in a dress. It's not just black men too. They did it with uh, with Miss um, Doubtfire. Who's that guy? A white guy. He died. And so it's just a funny thing. Why is that always the case? Why is Hollywood uh, pushed so hard to make Robin Williams? Thank you, Tim. What? Yeah, even The Rock too, Javier. Yeah, The Rock, they put him in a dress. What is this push? Why does Hollywood find it necessary to take the strongest, most alpha male men uh, and then turn them into women, right? Last year during the Super Bowl, there was, I don't watch, I don't watch sports, but I was, it was a grounding camp was during the Super Bowl, right? You see how much I care about the Super Bowl. It was that grounding camp, it was at the end of the grounding camp. And so I was still at the retreat center. And so, you know, the guys I was with, they wanted to watch it. So I was watching it. And the first commercial that comes on, they had this big guy, Moma. I don't know if you guys know, I don't know his first name, Moma. Something Moma, just, he's just a jack dude, he's an actor. And in the commercial, they totally emasculated this dude. He walks into the room, like, you know, his big muscles, because he's a jack guy. And then, he, and then he starts taking his muscles off, right? And, you know, ripping all his muscles off, like his muscles are fake, right? Like. He's not actually a strong man. That's all made up. It's all fluff. This is what the world tries to convince strong men also that, you know, our our strength is uh, actually a weakness. And that if you uh, if you walk, talk and act like an alpha male, that you're trying to uh, make up for something that you, <laughs> it's trying to compensate for something. This is one of the lies. This is one of the lies. And uh, in that commercial, he's taking off all his muscles. And then, his, and then his wife has to help him do stuff because he's too weak. He can't, there's a scene where he's doing a bench press with like real wimpy weight and he get, and it falls on him and he can't get it off because he's, he's really a weakling on the inside and his wife has to come with one hand and lift it up. Why is that? It's, it, and it, it's not even like a once in a while thing. Like, oh, that's funny. You know, we don't see that very often. They do it all the time. If you watch if you watch Hollywood, you recognize that women are portrayed like men. They're doing manly things. They're beating up men. You know, I, I went a couple of years ago to watch Wonder Woman. Uh, it was a year be it was before I re even really was paying attention to what was going on, but I had a sense that shit was just weird. Wonder Woman was this like 20 year old skinny fat girl looked like she never lifted weights in her life it's not even like she was a jacked woman right like a strong like a like a literally physically strong woman she just looked like an average thought a regular regular woman and she was whooping all these bad guys asses it was kind of weird tim what do i think about women in the ufc i think it's great that women are involved in sports i see nothing wrong with it if you're a woman has an inclination to whooping other women's asses that's great uh this is where feminism becomes toxic. Feminism becomes toxic when all borders are down and then anybody could be a woman. So what's, what they're having a problem right now in UFC is with transgenders, men who, who uh, pretend like they're women, and then they're beating the shit out of all these women uh, in, in the UFC or you know uh, wrestling and stuff like that. And it's the woman's fault. Transgenderism is a, is a mutation of feminism. 
And so you got the women who are complaining now and they're like, this is not fair. But it's like, that's, if you take something to its logical conclusion that everybody should be included, then that's what you're going to get. And it seems like, uh, it seems like feminism in that way is starting to backfire, right? It's, it's not about women's liberation. It's about chaos. That's really what they're trying to create chaos and confusion. I also listened to it. I listened to a, a guy on YouTube the other day. I don't remember his name, but he was talking about how, you know, just while we're on the topic of transgenderism or, you know, any of the weird, any of the weird wacky things that we're, we're supposed to accept, he was explaining how the rulers, you know, the oligarchy, Hollywood, the people that, that rule our world, he says they don't even believe this stuff, the stuff that they're shoving down our throat, and they know that it's ridiculous, that it's wacky. What they're really looking for is, of course, to sow chaos, confusion, but then to get compliance. So it's about chaos, confusion, but then ultimately compliance. If we could tell people that uh, up is down and down is up, well, then we got them right where we want them, right? We tell them that men are women and women are men, and they just accept it, and we got them right where they want it. That's right, Alex, it's psychological warfare. And it's been going on to, for a very long time. We're just, we're finally at the, I think, I think we're at the pinnacle of wackiness. I don't think it gets any wackier than, than the way it is right now. So I have hope because pendulum swing. Everything comes full circle. What goes up must come down, right? It's just, it's just laws of nature. And uh, I think men are starting to wake up. I know men are, are beginning to wake up. Men are beginning to wake up and we're beginning to see. And what's really even more fascinating is to see women waking up. There's an anti-feminist movement. There are a lot of women that are going back to tradition. They like, I follow some women on Instagram that are like uh, traditional femininity, right? Look them up, look up these women that, that uh, do Instagram. That's right, blonde in the belly. She's, in the, she's one of them, Matt, that's right. Who speak on traditional femininity and, and, and the power thereof, right? Feminism is weird because it, it's about, it's a hate movement, but it's also a hate movement against women. Because if, uh, if, if feminism, which it promotes, is that women should be more like men, they should do all the things that men do, but they do not, but the movement does not honor the great things that women, only women can do, right? Where they denigrate the the wife, the mother, the homemaker, which is which is very unique to women. It's it's built into their nature, and they can do it better than we than we could ever do it. But no, they do. They have this push t for the career woman, and then they have this push for the stay-at-home dad. It's this it's this weird movement. Uh, but it's all collapsing. It's all collapsing as well. Um, I heard recent. Well, there's so many different examples, but. Um, we're living in a fake world and, and, and fake stuff can't last that long. And so many of the conventions that we've held dear, you know, that we believe is true for so many generations, maybe the past three generations, they're all becoming obsolete and people are waking up and they smell it. They could smell the shit. They could smell the garbage. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to you the details to see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.